welcome to Really Random Rants. The show where we do just that. I'm Coffee Cheetah. And I'm Spit Alex. And we are the Random People. Yep. That was random. I seriously just thought of it now. Alright, so today we're talking about our favorite clone troopers from Star Wars The Clone Wars and uh, Star Wars Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the, the, just Revenge of the Sith. Favorite clones, yeah. peoples. And Star Wars Rebels, because technically there's yeah. clones in there. But not Stormtroopers. We're not talking about Stormtroopers. Uh, my favorite Stormtrooper is the one that clones head. Uh, so, this is just clone troopers. The top one, I'm sure for both of us, but I could be wrong. What do you think? What do is you your think? favorite Rex? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's either Rex or Echo. Is he the one with the minigun who sacrifices himself in the episode where they have to blow up the base? I almost... You I'm didn't kidding. say... Oh, excuse please. me. You didn't knock. I you. almost think that Echo... Honestly, sir... I feel like Echo is in Star Wars Rebels as one that what? survived. But I might be wrong. I could be wrong. I No, wait. I, I know I, Wolf I did. I know Wolf did. And there really? Was one other, yeah. Gree? Gree. I Gree. forget which one Gree is. His armor is green. Oh. I don't remember. But I know Wolf did. And Brown. Okay. So they did not go under Order 66. But yeah, Rex is... My favorite yeah, by he, far. It's either Rex or I'm um, uh, I honestly really like Heavy too. Um, my I, Cause just I, just because he has a really cool story in the in the episode where like he's talking to the deformed one. Yeah, I also like Fives a lot. Like. My name is Five 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 Five. <laughs> oh, it's lagging now. Yep. Oh well. Sorry guys. Word. Enjoy the lag. But. Wait, let's try talking when the other person talks. Hi. Sorry. <laughs> Hi. Hi. No. Hi. 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 Hey. Hey. Oh. Hey. 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 There was, mm. there was something about him that's yeah. kind of cool. Uh, but there's something about him. That, that was a little off. Yeah. I re okay, let's go on to the next Jedi, to our favorite Jedi. Okay. My favorite Jedi. Let's by do, wait, let's do prequels because there's a huge difference. Oh, uh, yeah. My favorite Jedi is by far Kit Fisto. He is amazing. He is He's Jamaican. <laughs> he's Jamaican in the in the Star Wars Clone Wars show, and that's just and he's green. So I love green. So your favorite? I'm going to have to go with prequel wise. It's really hard. Um, cause, just because there was just a there vast was, amount. There's so many. But I'm going to go with the top three here. Not necessarily in this order, but they're all kind of tied for me. Mm -hmm. Um, Obi Wan. Uh, Yoda and Mace Windu. It's like the three highest Jedi, and it's not just because of their position being so high. It's just they're I, awesome. Yeah, I, I, Yoda's adorable. Him. Mace Windu's really fun to listen to because he's Samuel Jackson. Yeah, and then there's Obi Wan, who's just an awesome character. Like I, in the prequels, he has like a hint of you know I'm still kind of a little bit raw, uh, but he's also a wise teacher. Yeah. And if it weren't for Anakin, Mace Windu would have taken out Palpatine. Yeah, Mace Windu is amazing. I th am I right in thinking that Kit Fisto survived the longest out of the ones who were pathetic? Yes. Okay. The, it, the, that was the Jedi Council, and within 30 seconds, all three of them were killed, although Kit Fisto stood a better chance than... Because he got a couple, he got a couple blocks in at yeah. least. Like, it, the other one, it was just like, pew, 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 they lose. And then there's, and then it came to Kit Fisto. <laughs> so, like, and, you know, he's also part fish, and I always love marine aliens. You know what I mean? Oh, so you like Akbar? 
No one likes that bark because they all know. Enter Trump! He's going to be in Star Wars Episode 7, though. <laughs> Let's go He's with. He's almost as annoying as Jar Jar. Let's, let's go with our now, favorite droids yeah. now. Now let's go with... Well, oh, yeah. Favorite kinds of droids. Okay. Personally, my favorite kind of droid is actually just the straight-up battle droid. Just because they're so stinking funny. They are hilarious. Um, if I weren't going for funny and, and I were actually just going for cool, it would... Beyond a shadow of a doubt, it would be like those roly-poly... It, it would be a... Uh, Droid Aka yeah. or Destroyer Droid. Destroyer. Oh my. Those are. things are. Those are things are boss. And playing as them in the old Battlefront games, I don't know about the new Battlefront game because I haven't. Played is it, it easy? To, is, have, are they easy to play as? Um, they're they're easy to play as and amazing. But when you're fighting them against them, it is <sighs> terrible. What do you have to do? You had for, so you start fighting them. They put up their force field. Then uh, you have to destroy the force field as they're still shooting at you. Yeah. Then that goes down, and then you can shoot them. And it takes it still takes a couple shots to kill them. Yeah. And they're still shooting at you. <laughs> so and they have the most well a um, timed shot pattern because like um, first of all they are deadly. They have deadly accuracy, and second of all it, they they do like. They're always shooting. It's do 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 do. It's just like there. There's no lull. Okay. Um. So. What's your favorite? Either the Droidico or the R2 units. Not necessarily R2D2. Oh, I was, although, talking, I was talking about like Separatists. Oh, like Separatists. Then definitely the Droidicas. Yeah, Droidic. Did you just call it Droidicas? I have no idea. It's either. Uh, for the longest time, I called it droidy, ca- droidy cars because they're rolling around <laughs> I know like car it, wheels. Yeah, I know it's droid because we're the what's the other name? Droidaka or destroyer droid or yeah, it's either droidaka or destroyer droid. Where did they come up with that name, droidaka? Anyway, um, um, then we have Sith. Sith. Very Sith. All right. I'm going to pull the wild card here. Okay. And, um, now, honestly, at first, I really want to go with Palpatine. Mm. Just because his He's skill. Boss. Yeah. Even when he was the Emperor, he didn't have as much because he was a lot older. Because he was already old in the prequels. But he still had some skill. I mean, he still had the Force Lightning. He just got so. picked up by his cousin and thrown into an endless pit, and everyone assumes he's dead. I'm pretty sure he's going to make a comeback in the next one. Like, in the next series, because no one said he's dead. Mm-hmm. Like, it's not... It doesn't show his body. And when they don't show their bodies, you know in movies, they're probably going to bring him back. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Um, let's see. Then we have... Uh, so my favorite, though, would have to be Count Dooku. Really? Mm-hmm. I hate Count Dooku. And now, Darth Maul is also cool, even though he died in The Phantom Menace. Yeah, he's still yeah. cool. He's dead. But, he died in The Phantom Menace. No, he didn't. No, a brand new kind of jerk came out of in The Clone Wars. That was one of the only things The Clone Wars did wrong. But it's still official Star Wars came in. It is? Yeah. Clone so, Wars is canon? Yeah. Ah. Wait a minute. Does that mean that Rebels is canon? Yeah. So we might have a little blue-haired brat in the in the movies. Um. I don't know. But well, anyway. by, by, if he's in the movies, it's probably gonna be an well, old guy yeah. then. But anyway, um. So yeah, I would have to go with Count Dooku. He is really skilled, mainly because he was trained by Yoda as a yeah. Jedi originally. Um. His lightsaber is really cool mm-hmm. with his customized self. And um, he did. He fought three Jedi. At the same and, time. Yeah, and beat all of them. Okay, now I have a. A pick that's. That the reason why I picked this person is because I know so little about him. Mystery always makes me think he's a bad guy and he's a really good one too darth plagueis yes 
Oh, wow. He... Yeah. Is he the guy who had the ability to bring something back to the life? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Darth Plagueis. That's and he the one was I'm talking about. Palpatine's boss. Yeah. He's the guy who taught Palpatine. That means that Palpatine doesn't know everything that he taught him. Thus meaning that he'd probably be more powerful than Palpatine. Think about that for one second. That's one thing I wish that they got more into because they mentioned Darth Plagueis and Revenge of the Sith, but they never got into anything. Wait, wait first of all, do you like the prequel movies? Um, I do. I like the um, original trilogy better. Yeah, I like the original I, trilogy better, but I really, really do like the new, the prequel movies. Well, Phantom Menace is iffy. It's a good movie. It just, to me, it doesn't... It seem doesn't as, feel it Star doesn't, Wars. Yeah. It, do, it does, it's screaming, I'm trying too hard to get into a new style of Star Wars. Because, seriously, all the other ones are so much less kid-friendly than that one was. And that, that one, they're just trying too hard to make it kid-friendly. Luckily, they're not doing that in the new movie. They're going back to the original darker... Um, more gruesome, more... Well, I don't I don't like the gruesomeness, but... Yeah. And I don't think that they're going to be going for gruesome, but they're going for a more serious tone. Jar Jar just... But still with the humor that the original trilogy had. Because it did have some humor. Yeah, it was a good It was a good trilogy. It was a good mix of both. Yeah. The, 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 like, Phantom Menace was a good movie. I, 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 I think that the prequels, they are canon, yes. They are... Are not Star Wars, in my opinion, though. They're part of the Star Wars universe, but they're not Star Wars to me. Like, they don't feel like Star Wars. Um, the action sequences feel like Star Wars. Like, the lightsaber duels? Those are very Star Wars. I, I actually prefer those over the duels and... Phantom Menace, though. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, it's a good movie. It just didn't have the Star Wars feel. Mm -hmm. That's for all three of the prequels, in my opinion. You know what I mean? No, that, I'm, no I'm not talking about the lightsaber style. In, in the I, prequels, they had, like, blah, 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 well, blah, blah, I don't know, maybe Revenge of the Sith. I, that's... <laughs> Revenge of the Sith seemed pretty Star Wars level. Revenge of the Sith? Yeah. Was that the last one? Yeah, that was episode three. Yeah, that was... Uh, yeah, but it, I think that it was too dramatic. You know what I mean? Like, it was getting too... Anakin, why are you doing that? True, but then anything? again, it is a space opera, which means it's like a soap opera. It's about family matters. It's a space opera? Yeah, that's what George Lucas created it to be. The entire series? Yeah, like, basically, a soap opera in outer space. Like, the whole series, like, all six of them? Yes. Well, I failed at that one for the originals. Well, they... They do deal with family matters. Well, yeah, but it's not... When they were not being dramatic, they were... When they weren't being overdramatic, they were being underdramatic. Sure. That's the one thing I didn't like about it. Anyway. Um, uh, so... 13 minutes, oh gosh. Um, oh. Favorite female Jedi? I'm tempted to say... cut. No, that's not a girl. That's the guy with the really tall head, isn't it? Kai Andy Mundi. Yeah, Kai Andy Mundi. I wasn't thinking of him. Mm. There's Shaq T. There is... Um, I really like uh, Alice Akira. Alice Akira. Is it Ayla Akira? Uh, that I still don't know how to pronounce I think it's Ayla Akira. Ayla Akira. We're gonna go there. It's mainly the first name I have trouble with. Ayla? Yeah. It's definitely Akira. It's Ayla. So. It's, uh, the f we both knew what half of it, so we were just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's Ayla Secura. Okay. I would have to go with season four and five of the Clone Wars um, Ahsoka. Yes, now. yes, yes. What, Not you got our second blade? Yeah, not season one at all. <laughs> season two, she, yeah. <laughs> season two, she was just annoying. Season two, she was um a little bit better. Season three, she was nice, but 
not as experienced. So that's why I like season four and five. I like experienced Jedi Mm because they have like the really good quotes and more awesome action sequences and stuff like that. So yeah, actually, you know what? I'm going to go with yours. Have you ever noticed? Did you notice that both of all three of my picks had head tails for my favorite Jedi? (laughs) Well, anyway, uh, What's your favorite? Let us know in the comments. That's That would be interesting. That's not going to happen. You know that. No one's going to comment on this video. And Alex's now when Aunt Pat, comment your favorite. Aunt if you Pat! Hug! Okay, hug's over. So, thank you for watching. If you did. Comment. Like. Subscribe. Um, Share. Follow us on Google+. Plus. Hashtag them to the first. And uh, become part of the really random fandom. Yeah, I've become a part of it. Uh, live long and prosper. Ha- uh, hashtag them to the first. Live long and prosper. And, and have, have a really, really, really random, random day. day.